This episode of Astrum Answers is brought to you by CuriosityStream. Look into the night sky on a clear night and you'll see thousands of stars spanning across your view. These stars are a beautiful reminder of the cosmos we live in. But curiously, when you look at the many different images released by space agencies of objects in space, the background looks mysteriously void of anything. Why is that? Surely with nothing in the way like an atmosphere, we should be able to see all the stars that would be in that view. In fact, even Apollo astronauts reported not being able to see any stars on the moon, where no atmosphere was in the way. So what's up with that? Well, this is all to do with how eyes and cameras work. When we look at a bright object, our iris shrinks in order to block out some of the light. This is what happened with the Apollo astronauts. Even though there was no atmosphere above them, the reflection of the sun's light from the moon's surface made their eyes adjust to as if it were day. One astronaut reported only being able to see some of the brightest stars when he was in the shadow of the lunar module, looking directly up with his protective visor raised. I imagine though, if astronauts ever land on the night side of the moon and have their eyes adjust to the near pitch black conditions, they would get a stunning view of the stars in our galaxy. When a camera on board a spacecraft images a planet, the shutter speed, or the amount of light a shutter allows into the camera before it closes again, is set for the equivalent of daytime levels. Because what we are usually looking at is the day side of the object. This shutter speed is too quick for background stars to be picked up. But every so often, we do want to image the night side of the object, which means we must increase the exposure time to allow more light into the camera. When this happens, suddenly the background becomes full of stars. This is a time lapse of raw images taken by the Cassini spacecraft. As you can see, Cassini takes a lot of different images with different exposures. In some images, there are no background stars visible, and in others, there are. But this leads on to another interesting point about the images space agencies release to the public. You may have seen some of these stunning images of Saturn before, but you may not realize that this isn't one image but it's rather a mosaic of several images stitched together. In such mosaics, you definitely won't see background stars because the sections of black around the image won't have been added to the mosaic. Lots of spacecraft take images this way. The reason being, it can dramatically increase the resolution of an image and reduce the amount of data that has to be transmitted back. Bandwidth come in at quite a premium where data speed can be reduced to 2 kilobytes per second at the farthest distances. So there you go, now you know why you don't tend to see stars in the background of space images. Want more of space but can't wait for the next Astrum episode? Try CuriosityStream. It's a subscription streaming service that offers over 2,000 documentaries and non-fiction titles from some of the world's best filmmakers. They have a section specially dedicated to space with some great videos. For instance, you know the Apollo moon missions I mentioned earlier? They have a great episode dedicated to these fascinating missions. Get unlimited access starting at $2.99 a month, and for you, the first 30 days are completely free if you sign up at curiositystream.com forward slash astrum and use the promo code astrum when prompted. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more Astrum Answers in the future and a big thank you to my patrons for helping support the channel. All the best and see you next time.